I do want to speak um, to Lisa Hancock, who's the CEO of the Injured Jockeys Fund. Uh, good evening, Lisa. Hi, good evening. Hi, thanks very much for joining us. I think what I wanted to say first of all, obviously, the initiative at Doncaster um, is, is a great one. How, how did that come about? Um, it was, I think, a joint initiative between Northern Racing College and, and sort of my colleagues at the Injured Jockeys Fund. Uh, and it's been running now for a number of years and raised, has raised a huge amount of money. I think it's um, well over £400,000 has been raised and it gets split between the two charities. Just fantastic. And in terms of the, 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 ch the charity now, you, you, you obviously have started the, the um, Jack Berry site, is that right? Or uh, are you well into that? And how, how is that going? Yeah. I've been up there today, Jackberry House in Moulton. Uh, it's progressing really well now. Um, much of the roof is now on. It's taking excellent shape, and it's going to be a fantastic facility for the jockeys and the racing people, um, particularly in the northern half of, of the country, obviously. Really exciting, and, and look to sort of open it in February of next year. Now, in terms, of, in, in terms of the engine jockeys, I mean, obviously we look at it and say, well, it's specifically for engine jockeys, but it, it's a lot more than that, isn't it? Uh, first and foremost, it is for injured jockeys and for injured jockeys fund beneficiaries. Um, you know, we're, we're very well aware that um, our supporters donate specifically for us. Um, but what it will be is it's a little bit, um, as, as we are in Oaksey House, we'll, we'll be able to offer the facilities to the, the racing community in and around Moulton. So it, it should really benefit a large number of people. And in terms of Jack Berry... Um MBE, he must be absolutely delighted to have uh, be involved in this and, and have one north of England. Yeah, I mean, it's been his brainchild and he's absolutely lived and breathed it every step of the way and I don't think it can open too soon for him. I mean, you know, he's just the ultimate enthusiast and has been behind so much of the fundraising. And, and what is, um, for people that are not too sure what, what involvement Dal Gibson's involvement is, could you explain to the audience what that is? Tomorrow specifically or generally? Yeah, generally, I guess. Well, Dale is um, a sort of a member of the Professional Jockeys Association team, and, and in particular, they're sort of northern representative. So again, a great enthusiast, and he sort of flies the flag uh, in, in industry matters for the jockeys, and particularly those northern-based jockeys. So he acts as, a, like, if you like, sort of an intermediary between those jockeys riding day in, day out, and sort of the powers that be at the British Horse Racing Authority in London. So he's their spokesman, or, spokesman almost. And in terms of the, the, the classified stakes tomorrow, we've got all the legends. We were just talking about some of the, some of the riders taking part. How, how um, do you generate the um, funding from that coming well, I mean, to you? It, it's really up to them to see how much sponsorship they can get. And, and some do a fantastic job um, and pull in literally every favour they possibly can. And, and as I say, over, over the years that it's been running, it has generated a huge amount of money from those that are very generous sponsors. And in terms of uh, people that want to donate, how do they do that? Fantastic. I mean, probably the best thing is to go onto the Indie Jockeys Fund website and you can see numerous ways to, to um, donate there, whether it's just a simple text, text £5, or if they want to, they can set up a regular uh, giving amount, numerous opportunities, all on the IJF website. We had uh, Leslie Graham from the Racing Welfare on not so long ago and she'd done the bike ride in France. Is there anybody um, that's sort of tried something for, for the charity? A, a, a large number of, of my team actually took part in the Cheltenham Half Marathon uh, on Sunday. Um, I think there are in, in, in number, I think there's sort of about 30 in total, uh, including a number from my office in, in Newmarket. My trading manager, my PA as well, ran a fantastic time. The, the jockey's doctor ran an amazing time, as well as a number from the yard of John Joe O'Neill, who trains literally on the back the doorstep of Cheltenham. Um, and there are always people doing crazy initiatives for us. We're very lucky. We have great support from throughout the whole country, including the jockeys themselves. Um, Chris Maud, who's one of the valets for the jockeys, he rode in the Mongol Derby this year, which is a real endurance test. I think he's going to have raised nearly £10,000. So, fantastic. OK. Well, thank you very much indeed, for, uh, Lisa, for joining this evening. And let's hope people see this and donate even more. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye.